Scripture and a Prayer. I'm Pastor Arlen. Thanks for joining me. Today is April the 15th. So I have a scripture for you. It is in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. It says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. What are you thinking on today? Has your thoughts been kind of going rampant, going in different directions? The Bible tells us that you have the ability to cast down every imagination, every thought that comes at you. And just like Jesus had thoughts of uh, turning the stone into bread or maybe jumping off a cliff and uh, or jumping off from the temple and that the angels would come and uh, rescue him just the same those those thoughts we have thoughts too and but he, Jesus always used the Word of God to cast down those imaginations and those thoughts those things that come against us and tells us that we're not good enough and or tells us that uh, the wrong the wrong things so whenever those thoughts come we have the ability and the power to cast down those imaginations uh, according to Luke 10:19, it says that Jesus gave you and I power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm us so when a thought of defeat or a thought of a failure a thought of that you're not good enough or thought that you're not mounting up when those thoughts come cast down those imaginations and cast down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. You have that power. You say, in Jesus' name, I rebuke those thoughts. And I'll not listen to it. I'll not meditate on it. I'll not let it take me down the wrong road. And so today I encourage you to exercise the God-given authority that he's given you over your thoughts. Because, you know, the weapons of a warfare, they're not carnal. But they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and then we cast down imaginations so um, today I encourage you bring every thought captive the very second that a thought comes that's whenever you you rebuke it and you say I rebuke that thought in Jesus name and I cast down that imagination well, a feeling that will try to make you uh, feel low or discouraged. Say, I know I rebuke that. For greater is he who is in me than he is in the world. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. So, um, I'd like to say a prayer over you today. Father, I pray for everyone under my voice. God, may that same power that raised Christ from the dead uh, just rise up within them today. God, and when these thoughts of discouragement or thoughts that they're never going to get well or thoughts that they're never going to rise higher, God, that they rebuke those thoughts and they bring those thoughts captive and able to move forward in their life, giving you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, Second Corinthians 10.5, casting down imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Thanks for joining me. God bless you. And I will see you next time.